Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So I'm quite excited today because we're going to take a close look at a new CRT television in 2021. Yup, this is the Bang & Olufsen MX6000. This is just a beast of a television and yup, it's gigantic. And this thing has a lot of great features. One thing I noticed that a lot of US viewers didn't even know what Bang & Olufsen was. After some searching, I noticed like they didn't even sell those things or the Bang & Olufsen brand in the US so far I know. And I was surprised to see a lot of you didn't even know what it was because it's basically the Lamborghini slash Ferrari here in the Netherlands if you want to buy a television, new or used. So when it comes to Bang & Olufsen, basically we're going to get a lot of different models. The Bang & Olufsen number one or the Beo Vision one they called it. I did a review some time ago. It was a quite interesting product, a very nice high quality one, complete with pedestal to put your television in. Had an amazing soundbar built in. And you need to think about these things are like 15 year old, even older than that. And like the sound quality is so crazy good with these things. But this television also had a beautiful display and not to forget it had this high quality touch. So if you want to play some CRT light up games, they will work perfectly because we're having the perfect CRT inside for this. Okay, and they made even more different models. Over here you can see the MX4000 at the right, and I will make a video about that television in the future. But at the left one you can see the MX6000, it's just a gigantic beast. It's like when you're going to the store and you're going to get yourself like a 55 inch LCD display nowadays. That was how it was back in the days. The MX4000 is a very portable monitor that I will use in many different videos in the future. So beside a beautiful CRT is inside the beast, also it comes with a beautiful soundbar. And this sound of this television is just amazing when it comes to low, mid and high. So at the right bottom we can find even a headphone jack input, so it is really convenient. Then we're going to get ourselves the on and off switch. It also comes with a very nice bracket at the bottom, so it gives the monitor itself a little bit of an angle, especially if you want to put this monitor on a low pedestal, it's possible. But another thing I do like about it, besides that it gives you like a better viewing angle this way. What I do like about it, the monitor even because it's in CRT, you can see like it's not like this gigantic tube that comes at the back. And I like um, one of these minor things that I really love about Bang & Olufsen, like even the casing and the form factor. And that think about it like in the days that like we're having gigantic television. Another thing that I find quite interesting is the way you can connect it. So we're going to get two inputs for RGB. But then we're going to get the special link connections. And you can see really around there, like it has the option to even add and extend different audio products. And that was Bang & Olufsen was like very familiar with. And like RGB as video in, but also you have like the option, so an audio link, so we can hook up some extra controllers and different pieces of hardware. So with this cable called the DIN cable, you can see them with like a single Mega Drive for example, or a NG, you still use it nowadays, you don't see it anymore. But this gives you a lot of new options. Bang & Olufsen, even for the older stuff, you have so many different options when it comes to audio, but also visual quality. And this is like the next level, you cannot even compare with cheap stuff you can buy nowadays. Even now, in 2021, these products are freaking awesome. Maybe in the future we'll check out some more products of Bang & Olufsen. Okay, so the remotes, there's a different story. So the remotes are like nothing you have seen before. Nowadays you have like the beautiful Bluetooth Air remotes, but back in the day we having like the infrared ones and Bang & Olufsen had this beautiful piece of hardware. Two aluminum pieces of metal that needs to be remote. These things are like freaking heavy. This is the basic edition, depends what kind of television you are getting back in the day. But this one basically is more than good enough. Then this thing weighs quite heavy, it looks still very nice and take consideration these things are like maybe 50 years old, some of them have some dents of some wear and tear. Then having this option like the television light radio, you can see like these things are universal so you can use it for audio and visual ones. And also like the way how these things work are quite interesting, they are like not your typical like putting on aux and you can play your video games. You need to program the television with kind of connection like V-tape, satellite. It's kind of interesting, maybe you can make a video about it, but there are a lot of interesting things you can do with Bang & Olufsen and also with these remotes. You need to have a little bit of a knowledge and need to take your time to set it all up. 
Okay guys, so we are going to play some video games of course, obviously, because I bought this thing, the CRT Beast, for playing video games to begin with, with N64. Yeah, we need a CRT with that. Then we're going to get Time Crisis, one of my all-time childhood favorite games to play with a light gun. We're going to use the light gun original Namco this time, not the one with the recall. I did use that in a different video. Okay, so what I'm also going to do, we're playing some Neo Geo AES, the real arcade experience on the CRT. In my opinion, hey, this is just the ultimate way to play. The real Neo Geo hardware on the CRT. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Oh yeah, next up, let's try some Time Crisis on the PlayStation 1. It's going to be a blast to the past with this game. I already did a full video about it, so consider subscribing, hit the little bell and check that video because we're going to have a lot of fun also with this game now on the MX-6000. It's just a completely different arcade experience. And if you have not a special HDMI or an RGB full modded N64, we're going to need a CRT for this. Oh boy, where it all freaking started. This game I played it to death. I played it so much and it was such a really great experience back in the day. Yeah, this is memory lane. And I really need to get used to the controls because I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. But yeah, it seems to be like every character has been unlocked, so it's really convenient. I want to play the game like from A to Z again. Alright, go away Link. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Okay guys, so it was a lot of fun making this video, we're talking about the MX-6000, more like we're talking about Terminator from the future. But the thing is like, I love the Bang & Olufsen televisions and they had like such a beautiful finishing touch for a CRT. And if you can find one, I would say like, in my opinion, it's one of the best ways and affordable way to go because they are selling them here like 25 up to 50 euro for a gigantic television like this. They are like dirty cheap. And yep, so it's such a blast playing these old games again on a CRT. Yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of CRT gaming. Are you willing to get one or are you just like moving on and using upscalers and LCDs? Would be great to have you in the Wicked family. Subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, become one of the Wicked family. And I'll see you in the next video.